Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So we are making this card today and I have made it using the Birthday Blossoms stamp set and this um, embossing folder that I had because it was flowery. Um, but this was a prototype for my daughter's birthday card. This was not the card tomorrow or the the video after this will be the card so this was the try out and as you can I don't know whether you can see but I used two shades of purple so I've got here um, perfect plum and this is elegant eggplant but I've, I've melted them yeah that that's not the right word but um yes yeah, so I've I've sort of rocked in the ink pads to make them but as this was my yeah, this turned out to be the prototype because the sh the difference isn't big enough. You can't see um, the difference uh, in the colours because they're too similar. So this ta -da, is the daughter's birthday card and you can actually see that I've used two different colours and you can see the differences here are much more clear. So that is for, tom for the tutorial of, um, you know, in, in two days. Um, now, as you can see, I've layered these cards so this is a two layer this is a double layer and this one is a triple layer card and um i'm not going to mention the measurements here now because i get very confused and you know me you know i'm 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 <laughs> i can't get confused easily but what i have done is i have created a download which is on my website the link is in down bar below if you go there and you buy the download for free it's for free so you don't you have to buy it because that's the only way I can offer it to you but it's for free so you don't have to pay anything um, you have to sort of go through the shop um, but you will then be able to after you've gone through the process you will be able to click on it and it will download onto your computer but what will also happen is it will be sent to your email address I know because I've just done it. I tried it out and uh, I just realised I got an email from myself um, with the download in it. So you just click on it and it opens up onto your iPad, onto your computer, onto your phone. You've got it there and it's got all the measurements for all the layers. For the double um, layer card but also for this one for the triple layer card which is the one we're doing in the next tutorial. So Without further ado, do go to my website and get that download because it's handy. It also has the basic card measurements. So, um, you know, always worth having those. And yes, I've also done an envelope. So that's quite simple. But what I also did was this. I texturized the flap and how I done that will be in uh, the tutorial after the card. So that will be a third tutorial for you to look at. Today we are using Rose Red base card and Pool Party. Well, can you get any more contrasting than that? <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. Right, so we've got the layers ready here and we've got the inside ready. So this is the inside, this is the uh, outside and this card is opening this way. Okay, not my usual tent but the gate fold, right? So we are going to start with the sentiment because otherwise you don't know where you are putting all your other flowers. And what I've done, I always make sure that I put my card straight on my grid paper and then this one straight onto there. Now some people put some sticky on, um, you know, that they sort of go over with their finger and that, so it becomes less sticky, but I'm not going to do that. I don't even... Well, I just hold it. Now I've got here Rose Red and Pool Party and we're going to be mixing. The, 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 the problem here is this will show up in this ink pad, but this won't show up in that ink pad. So always first Pool Party. Oh yeah, and I've, already I've got it on the side. Make sure you have a cloth with you because we are going to getting, be getting it everywhere. Um, I'm just going to be a bit gentle here and I'm just going to rub off some of the pool party on the top and now I'm going to, can you see I'm not putting it completely onto the ink pad I'm, and I'm going up and down just ever so slightly so we get that graded look there. 
and let's put this there i didn't yes i did do it here but you can't tell so um yeah so up 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 on that top little piece of paper quite up there we go okay so we have it in two colors and it's quite up on that small um on that smallest piece of paper then we're doing the same thing so we have our little flowers and i particularly like those so i thought i would use this i've inked up this ink pad and you can tell look it's all inky so let's just um wipe some of this off here on the sides you don't have to be too careful because in a minute we'll be adding some more and now we're going to take our ink pad hold it flat and we're going to rock the edges so only the edges right so you'll see there is some grading can you see that let me just stand up and see if you can you can tell there is difference in color on my ink pad uh, on my stamp and now we're just going to stamp away and i'm going to make sure you stamp straight up straight down and make sure you um you know because you've got ink on the sides of your stamp here it's going to happen inevitably because you're rocking so you have to make sure um it you know you have to sort of limit a little bit but that's the effect that we want so and this time i'm just going to do a little bit of this edge see so that half is blow, um, blue and half is red i also i give it a good push where i think the edge is it doesn't help it doesn't help very much uh, because it um it will show up anyway okay so i'm just sometimes i'm just touching it in the ink pad on there and there sometimes i'm rocking it so see i've got the three colors now so you know and i'm just doing some straightforward pool party here oh i think i've got my ink pad quite um juicy actually um and let's have another it's okay when it's dried up let's have another bit of rose red on there so it goes like that and then just rose red and the edges there we go try not to move that middle bit of paper okay I think I have moved it but try to keep your finger on it and that will um that will help right okay so let's put this to the side and let's have a look at the inside so again we need to hmm, I'll just clean this because I can't remember where I should be going now food party or or um rose red Okay, so that one, and then a little bit here, a little bit on that corner, a tiny bit on that corner, and then we stamp it. And we'll stamp it again. I think it should be okay. There we go. All right. So that's our inside. And we're going to say happy birthday on the inside as well. And what I'll do is I will put my ink pads next to each other there's always a gap so we have to bridge that so make sure you've actually been with the y onto the the uh, onto the rose red or with the b onto the pool party okay and do not rock and then there we have it so two colors okay so i think we are ready to create an extra effect and that is oh, yes putting it through the folder embossing folder so we've stamped our images on 
Now we're going to put this through the embossing folder. I've got my um, big shot here. No, 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 you can't get it through there. You have to put it on tab number one. Oh my word. There I was thinking I'll do it quickly. Okay. And here we are again. And here we are. There's our piece of paper all nicely embossed. And so let's see what it is going to look like now. So we have the inside. We have this, that, this and this. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, assembling. Let's get our glue. And put it in. Now, because we have... Um, an embossed layer here that will need a little bit more glue than usual because of course there's raised edges and there's indented uh, bits so it's only the the down bits that are going to touch this uh, piece of paper so just put a little bit more glue. Oh, it doesn't really matter it'll stick down I'm sure and I just push it down really well there we go and then this one here go on to here I know there's not a lot of embellishment on this card I mean you could add a ribbon you could add a flower even uh, like I did with the other card but like I said this was my sort of trial card it was a prototype and I quite I just sort of enjoyed it really um, sometimes you need cards to send in the post and they just need to be flat and um, yeah this is one of those I think and I think it's, um, you know, cheerful and, and, and with the colours being mixed up, I think it creates an extra effect. So we've got quite a few techniques here. We've got the layer, we've got the embossing and we've got the um, the mixing up of the colours on our ink, um, on our stamps and our ink pads. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and do stick around because in two days you will get this one and... Two days after that one, you'll find out how to do this. And don't forget to go to the website because that's where you'll find all the measurements for these panels. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.